Meanwhile, there's a lot of buzz about Trump potentially being disqualified from running for president because of the 14th Amendment, which bars anyone from office who, quote, engages in insurrection against the U.S. Some legal scholars say this could get Trump knocked off the ballots nationwide. Joining us now is lawyer and constitutional law expert Jason Harrow. Jason, good to see you. Uh, I'm skeptical of this. Are you? <laughs> I, I was a bit ago, Alex. This has never been used in 150 years to bar a serious presidential candidate from the ballot since it was implemented to prevent Confederate loyalists from taking over the U.S. government after the Civil War. But there are some really serious challenges. You know, uh, several California legislatures have at legislators have asked the California Attorney General to look into this and file suit. And there is a very serious lawsuit, a 115-page lawsuit in Colorado asking the Secretary of State to bar the president, former president, from the ballot there. So I think these are these are a little serious, as we can discuss, Alex. So talk about the legality of this. How would this work? Is it up ultimately to an attorney general? And if they do that, say some liberal attorney general somewhere trying to make a name for themselves like Rob Bonta does this, is it the automatically go to the Supreme Court? Well, nothing automatically goes to the Supreme Court, but I do think this is important enough where if the courts rule on it, it would work its way up to the U.S. Supreme Court pretty quickly um, because it's, it's critical to our democracy. In terms of who makes the initial decision, so far, the secretaries of state who run elections and the attorney general who have some role in it, they have basically kept a low profile and said, well, we're going to see how it plays out. It's up to the voters. But like I said, both uh, legislators and now lawsuits are forcing their hand. I think ultimately it's going to be up to the courts, Alex, and probably not the attorney general or the secretaries of state. Um, they've all so far said that's the proper role of courts. Is there any indication that this Supreme Court, which includes three justices appointed by Donald Trump, would have enough votes to literally kick him off the ballot for insurrection, which is something he has not been criminally charged with or criminally convicted of? I think that's where the rubber meets the road, Alex, and where it becomes really unlikely for two reasons. As you said, um, the, the, there are several justices that may be loyal to President Trump, or at least loyal enough to, to, to not really give uh, a lot of credit to these challenges. But more than that, I think the justices are really wary about intervening in such a strong way in our democracy. Their view is probably leave it up to the voters, let the voters choose if they know what he did, right? If he loses fair and square, he loses fair and square. But they probably view the odds of an insurrection as maybe higher if he's kept off the ballot, because then people will think, boy, maybe the system really is rigged. Uh, the politics of this, uh, not great um, for the folks involved uh, with all of this, um, and it's certainly the kind of thing that gets Trump's supporters riled up. Uh, Jason Harrow, thanks for your perspective. We really appreciate it. Always good to be here, Alex.